Glaucoma has been referred to as the silent thief. Why? What happens with glaucoma is we're born with about a million nerve fibers in the nerve that connects the eye to the brain called the optic nerve. That nerve, as we age, loses about 1% of its fibers per year. People with glaucoma lose those fibers faster. They're not aware that they're losing them because there's so much redundancy in our visual system that it takes a long time before they start to lose any vision as a result. And when they finally do, they're losing their vision from the outside in, so they still don't notice that they've lost any vision because every time they turn their eyes, they feel like they see everything. And it's not until it's almost too late that they start to notice that something is wrong. And so with glaucoma, screening and preventative measures are important. The most common thing that causes damage to the nerve is high pressure in the eye. That high pressure either puts mechanical trauma and stress onto the nerve or compromises the blood flow to the nerve. And as a consequence, the nerve starts to suffer with accelerated loss of fibers. So the key things in glaucoma are proper detection and proper uh, pharmacologic intervention. By the time we get to surgery, the disease is usually quite advanced. Uh, for detection purposes, we uh, deploy some of the most advanced technologies in the world, some of the most advanced OCT systems, ocular coherent tomography uh, systems in the world that send laser beams into the eye and actually measure the amount of nerve fibers. And so people long before they start to have any loss of subconscious vision that we could ever hope to measure start to show deficits in that. And then it's a matter of treating them properly pharmacologically with the right medications and getting them on a stable medical regimen so that they don't have to go on to surgery. For those who look like they have to go on to surgery, we're now developing all kinds of microinvasive technologies. Uh, one, one, for example, that's referred to as a glauco stint, where at the time of cataract surgery on a patient who has glaucoma, we not only take out the cataract, but we put in a tiny little implant. It's the size of a pinhead. It's by far the smallest prosthesis uh, available for the human body, invisible to the naked eye, and we'll implant that and it creates an accessory pathway for the fluid to get out of the eye to its natural destination points and therefore controls the pressure uh, in a better way.